Hey there, it's Alina, your friendly nuclear physicist, and if you've been watching my videos weekly, then you know that it's been a while. I know it is a highly requested video for me to react to more episodes of Simpsons, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. So without further ado, let's get into it. Huh? Noise! Bad noise! Five minutes before critical mass. Critical you definitely wouldn't want to hear that when you work in a operation room of a nuclear power plant. Not sure what critical mass is though. I guess we'll find out. Whatever problem this is, I'm sure they know how to handle it. How is the court? Oh. It is the core temperature. That means that the fuel inside the core has a temperature that is not supposed to have, a much higher one than the nominal operational temperature. And of course this can cause a meltdown and can cause too many problems in the reactor core and you definitely don't want that. Uh, it's my problem! We're doomed! Sector 7G is now being isolated. My best friend shafted me. I'll never get over this auto man. No, oh, sure you will. You know, once my old lady ran off and married my brother, well, it hurt, but here it is a month later and I'm sleeping under a couch! Margarita, I want you. Mr. Devereaux, I can't work under these conditions. Have it your way, baby. You're fired. Uh, uh, uh. You're fired, but I still make out with you. Oh, Avery. Tell me, Mr. Devereaux. We interrupt search for the sun for this special news bulletin. Meltdown crisis, the first couple of minutes. Forget the hair, just give me the blush. No, we're on. This station has just learned that a serious crisis is in progress at the Springfield nuclear power plant. Oh, my lord. On the line with us now is plant owner C. Montgomery Burns. Mr. Burns? Oh, hello, Kent. Right now, skilled nuclear energy technicians are calmly correcting a minor piffling malfunction. <laughs> They're calmly correcting a minor malfunction when the core is melting. You don't really call that minor, but I guess if you don't want to scare the public or whatever, you could do that. Were there actually people praying inside the power plant? As if that's gonna help? Ship sheep. Sir, where's my radiation suit? How the hell should I know? Uh, Mr. Burns, people are calling this a meltdown. Oh, meltdown. It's one of those annoying buzzwords. We prefer to call it an unrequested fission surplus. Only <laughs> An unrequested fission surplus. This is uh, good marketing skills. <laughs> Please be all right. Gotta think, gotta think. Okay, somewhere there's a thingy that tells you how to work this stuff. The, um, the, um, the manual! The manual! Right! Uh-huh! Should have thought about what to do way before that. And not just reaching for the manual after the news is already on TV. Ah, it's as bad as a phone book! Congratulations on your purchase of a Fissionator 1952 slow fission reactor. Don't get to the point, man! Ooh, what's this? Don't! I would have thought a nuclear reactor would be so complicated. 90 seconds. Yeah, so that was like pretty much the design and layout of a, not just the reactor actually, and the water supply and the electrical supply around it. Nowadays, of course, it's all uh, much more automated. It's uh, in computer programs and you don't really have a piece of paper displaying all the different equipment that uh, comprise the reactor. To core meltdown. Sir, there may never be another time to say, I love you, sir. Oh, hot dog. Thank you for making... It's funny how the dude says, I love you, even though the boss of the power plant was the one who wanted to leave him outside of the capsule in that first episode I was reacting to. Last few moments on Earth socially awkward. Looks like this is the end. Well, that's all right. I couldn't have led a richer life. After the meltdown, we can expect roving bands. Hey, I don't like this program. Danger Channel. Traffic for hours. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune! I don't understand anything. If they look up stupid in a dictionary, there'll be a picture of me. Dear Lord. If you spare this town from becoming a smoking hole in the ground, I'll try to be a better Christian. I don't know what I can do. Um, oh, the next time there's a canned food drive, I'll give the poor something they'd actually like instead of old lima beans and pumpkin mix. One minute to core meltdown. Shut up! 
one minute to calm Mel down. It's interesting how, I guess, for the sake of the cartoon, there is no automated way to stop the meltdown, but it just has to be done by the operator. And it's all up to you. It's showtime! Okay, okay, think back to your training. Homer, this may very well save your life one day. This Homer, yeah? please pay attention. This button here controls the emergency override circuit. Hmm. In the event of a meltdown, push this button and only this button. Ooh, it's time. Simpson! What? You see which button? So the emergency override actually does exist and uh, you could actually initiate uh, basically shutdown of the reactor by pushing the so-called control roads inside the core to stop the fission, stop the reaction from keep progressing. And um, yeah, I guess he didn't remember that. I mean, he pretty much doesn't know what he's doing there. I'm pushing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Push the button. Got it. This is all your fault. Okay, gotta pick a button, pick a button, pick a button. No, uh, one potato, two potato, three potato, four. No, wait, bubblegum, bubblegum, in a ditch. How many pieces do you win? No, no. The core meltdown. Oh, Smithers, I guess there's nothing left to do but kiss my sorry ass goodbye. May I, sir? Ugh. This dude is creepy. <laughs> These unfortunate people here will be instantly killed. This circle, which I am... So I'm assuming these are the, the zones around the power plant. So like the zone which is very close to the power plant would be the red one. The 30 kilometer distance would be, I guess, the orange one. I'm not sure that people would live in a reality kind of conditions around the red zone that he said that people would be instantly killed. I'm pretty certain people don't live that close to power plants and uh, if something was to happen, the only people who might have actually been affected probably would be the employees and the workers of the power plant. I have to say we are in. We'll experience a slower, considerably more painful death. Good Lord! They called me old-fashioned for teaching the duck and cover method. But who's laughing now? 15 seconds to core meltdown. Jesus, 13 seconds left and still no plan. Tiny mo, catch a tiger by the toe. Just press a button already. All systems returning to normal. Danger in 7G neutralized. Have a nice day. Good job, Homer. <sighs> yeah, lucky indeed. <laughs> see you again sure baby next meltdown <laughs> okay that was actually a very interesting one uh i don't know i'm not sure if in the previous episode this shows how the meltdown was initiated or why it started in the first place but yeah technically homer did save the city because uh, eventually even though if you didn't know what he was doing he did press the correct button so good job homer and yeah and this has been yet another reaction to the Simpsons episodes. Let me know if you like it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this video. I have plenty of suggestions from you guys and thank you so much for that, for future content and what you would like to see. Therefore, I would really get into it and we will have a lot of fun in the future. It's been Alina, your friendly nuclear physicist. And until next time, see you soon.